<laughs> Welcome to Grishano TV. We're hanging out with Motionless and White. What's going on, guys? You guys put your new album, Infamous, exactly um, a month ago today. So how have the fans responded to that? Uh, there's been some very mixed feelings amongst the fans. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd say it's. I thought I thought there was going to be more people that were going to hate it, but uh, fortunately. Uh, I don't know, like, I'm, from what I've seen, it seems like more people enjoy it and, you know, kind of embrace the change that we made, so, I mean, that's what I see, yeah. but I don't really go looking for the negative shit, so I'm sure there's just as many that hate it, so. Why do you, why do you think that, like, you know, people would have hated it, just because it's different? Yeah, just because of how different it is, I mean, people have a really hard time digesting change, and especially with music, when they kind of build up what the, a band's next record is going to sound like, it's just... You know, such a shock if it's yeah. not what they think it's going to be, and ours is by far nowhere, nowhere near uh, what our last record sounds like. So, it, I mean, yeah, I feel, I feel like you guys have a pretty like tight knit group of fans, though. That you know, that's, pretty dedicated to you guys. That was kind of the, the attitude that we took behind it. We were like, well, even if we change up a lot, I feel like our fans are, you know, into our band for the music first. But then there's a lot of other aspects about us that they like that they would kind of you know, transform with us. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say it's been, I don't know, like an 80% of what I thought was happening, so hey, I'm happy. A, yeah, that's good stuff. I noticed you guys fuse and, and blend a lot of instruments in your, in your sound. What are you guys like inspirations and, and what do you guys try to do to keep your music fresh, at least? I think it just comes from listening to all sorts of different styles of music and trying to figure out how a certain artist pulled certain influences mm -hmm. into their own music and then being like, okay, well, how could I do that with, with our music, you know? Yeah. But uh, it was hard to do that with each song without kind of deviating from the norm. Yeah. yeah. So that's why some of the songs sound so different, because it was like we had all these ideas, but there was no way to, like, blend them exactly with how Motionless and White you know, use the sound or whatever. It's kind of funny how I, I feel like a lot of bands are afraid to do what we did. Like, I listen, we listen to so many different styles of music mm -hmm. and I just don't understand why in today's music world where everything is all the same, why is a band afraid to do like so many different styles of song and, or songs in one record? Like, why not? I noticed you guys always have some pretty crazy ass music videos. What was like the idea behind the music video for Devil's Night? Uh, the main idea, I mean, the song's main idea is just, you know, speaking out for this group of people that feel faceless, voiceless, or identity-less, if that's even a fucking word. <laughs> it is now. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, kind of being a voice and embracing the fact that people tell us that, you know, our music kind of has helped them in whatever way that it has. And, um... The video is about kind of trap. You know, we wanted to do. I originally wanted to do just like a short horror movie, mm -hmm. not a real message behind the video, just something scary and awesome. But uh, talking to Cody back and forth about it, we decided to kind of take like a Clockwork Orange approach to oh, it. So I you know, love that book yeah. so much. Uh, you know, this this group of of people that just go out wreaking havoc and whatnot, but. We turned it into a positive thing by tracking down these people that are faceless, voiceless, identityless, again, quote unquote, uh, and seemingly harming them by hacking their faces off, but really we're just hacking this blank face off to expose a true identity, which is, you know, kind of just a metaphor for what kids tell us that our band does for them. And uh, just, you know, trying to touch some awesome hearts. Trying to touch some hearts in any way we can. If you guys could go back and be an 80s metal band, who would you guys be? Damn. Bon Jovi. <laughs> Best hits of any 80s band. Bon yeah. Best hits by far. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to say Bon Jovi and then five minutes later be like, oh fuck! Uh, the yeah. mode. You guys should go out one night and just do a set of Bon Jovi and just see what people, see what people say. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with Bon Jovi too. Some solid hits. Maybe Aerosmith. I'll yeah. go with Aerosmith just to, to switch it up. So, I know December 21st, I'm sorry, is right around the corner. Do you guys have any plans for like the night before the world's supposedly supposed to end? Um, not really. I just want to, I have more plans for the next day. Yeah. I just want to scour the internet. I will go on the internet yeah. that day and just see what people's responses are to the fact that it didn't end. 
But then again, I kind of think maybe everyone thinks it's going to end on the 21st, but then there's then there's going to be the people who are like, no, it's going to end on the on the New Year Day, and it's just going to be a whole new theory, yeah. and people yeah. are just going to eat. Just keep eat. dragging it yeah. out. Yeah. I, I just want to see. We're going to be there to say I told you so. I, I guess so. I'll probably make a comment or two. <laughs> just a comment or two. I feel yeah. like I'm going to be the one out there just going through every comment. Like, mm mm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, to close off, do you guys have anything else to say to your fans? Um, thank you for any of you guys who have come, come to the tour and helping, I think, by the time, I think maybe 10 shows out of the whole tour sold out so far, and there's still, today, you know, uh, I think there's three left, so thank you for doing that for us. It's amazing, kind of extremely shocking to see all the support and love, and thank you for buying Infamous, and why I looked at you, I don't know. <laughs> thank you for buying Infamous. Oh, no problem. Uh, thanks for it. buying the record and supporting us, and yeah, just thank you as always. Great. Well, thanks for watching Crescendo TV. We're hanging out with Motionless and White.